this is a video demonstration to show you a Google Doc form for the staffing summary. My screen is going to look a little bit different from yours because I'm working from home. My home computer is a Mac, but the general principle is going to be the same. To access the Google Docs form for the nursing staffing summary, you'll need to start by logging into your Gmail account for work. So bring up the Chrome browser, which is here on my Mac screen, and I'm actually already logged into my email account. You should have a message in there from Ashley Hawks that has a link to this online form. Mine's right here. I'm going to bring it up. And if for some reason you don't have this link or you can't find it, just email me. I'll help you with it. But here's the link that she provided. Alternatively, you can search for this form on the sites on the internet. To do so, there's up on the top right corner of the screen, there's this little grid of nine squares. It's actually a button to access apps. So I'm going to click on that. It expands and it shows a selection of some of the apps available through Google. There are more. You can click on the more button, but fortunately what I'm looking for is right here in this box. It's the sites. Click on that. There's a search box up on the top. Just type in staffing summary. Click search. And it's right on top. Click on it. And this is the form that I'm talking about. It mirrors our paper form and it has drop-down boxes on some of the fields with pre-filled information. Um, select our nursing unit, South 6, the shift, those are your four-hour time slots that you report on, fill in the name of the charge nurse. And then these boxes here are where you um, enter the staffing levels, the actual, the grid, just like the paper form the census, known admits, anticipated discharges. The next section um, pertains to when um, census is low and people are either being sent home, put on call, called off, or floated. You would fill out this section and then use the comment section below to enter the particulars. For instance, if a nurse has been put on call, you would enter in the comment section the name of the nurse, what time you called that person, and what hours that they are on call. Alternatively, when you have situations of higher acuity or safety concerns that you feel warrant staffing levels greater than what is accommodated by the grid, it's very important to communicate that information here in the comment section um, so that we have a voice in these matters and we can continue to work safely and provide good safe care to our patients. Please feel free to um, get in touch with me if you have any questions about this form. If you need any help, I'd be more than happy to show you in person um, and help you get better acquainted with it. Thanks so much for watching the video.